own a jewelry business in USA. 100% of my customers are non-Muslims. The question is that we sell gold jewelry for non-Muslim men. Is that okay? According to the hadith of Prophet Muhammad he says that gold and silk is haram for men of my ummah. Since non-Muslims are not considered ummah, can we sell gold jewelry to men? Jazakallah, brother. So the questioner, Muhammad has asked a question. He is in USA, that he is involved in making jewelry for men, gold jewelry for men. And he knows very well that for the Muslim ummah, for the Muslim men, wearing gold jewelry is haram. But his question is, he's selling it, 100% of his customers are non-Muslim. So is it allowed? Now the brother very well knows that wearing gold for the men is haram. But as he rightly said, that the Prophet said that the gold is haram for my ummah. So non-Muslims are not ummah, so can he sell it to them? There are some things, there are some products which are haram, which are mentioned very clearly that you cannot sell also. For example, the prohibition of alcohol. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 90, Ya alayhina amanu, inna mal khamru al maysuru. Oh, you believe most certainly in toxic gambling, Ananzabul Aslamu, dedication of stone, divination of arrows, Rishthumim li shaitan, these are Satan's handiwork, abstain from it that you may prosper. There are many hadith, even in Ibn Majah, it's a Sahih hadith that the Prophet said, 10 categories of people will be cursed. The person who buys alcohol, the person who sells alcohol, the person who transports alcohol, the person who serves alcohol, the person who uh, drinks alcohol, the person who distills alcohol, and that there he listed 10 categories. In it, it also says the person who sells alcohol. So, but natural, you cannot say that alcohol is prohibited for the Muslims, so I can sell it to non Muslims. This hadith is very clear cut. As far as gold is concerned, I don't know of any hadith which says selling gold is prohibited. But this hadith of the Prophet which says that gold and silk is haram for the men, the Muslim ummah, is very clear cut. But there's a hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari, in Sahih Muslim, various hadith, which says that once the Sahaba told the Prophet that why don't you wear this silk garment. So the Prophet said, the person who wears the silk garment, he'll be deprived of Jannah in the Akhirah. So it's very clear cut that wearing silk for the men, any of the Muslim men who wear silk, they'll be deprived of the Jannah in the Akhirah. But then there were some people who gifted silk to the Prophet, some of the non-Muslims. So the Prophet gave those silk garment to the Sabas. He even gave a silk garment to Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. And he said, benefit from it. So Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, was shocked. He said, but Ya Rasulullah, you told it's haram for Muslim to wear. So have I done something wrong that you're giving me this? He said, I never told you to wear. I told you to benefit from it. That means you can give it to non-Muslim. That you can sell it to non-Muslim. And there are various such hadith. That the Prophet was given silk garments. He gave it to the Sabbath. And he told benefit from it. Sell it to non-Muslim. Now based on this hadith. Some people who have less knowledge think. Okay now okay wearing silk for the men is haram. But selling to non-Muslim is permitted. The general ruling is. That what is haram for you. You yourself involving in selling it to non-Muslim also indirectly becomes haram based on the verse of the Quran of Surah Maida, chapter 5 verse number 2 where Allah says help one another in bir and taqwa in righteousness and good deeds but do not help one another in sin and transgression so what does this hadith mean that the Prophet told Hazrat Umar may Allah be with him sell it to the non-Muslim if you read the Shara of Sayyid Bukhari that is if you read the Shara, the commentary of, uh, of Sahih Bukhari, it says, the Ibn Ajar says, that what was meant here was, the Prophet, when he gifted it to the Saba, it means 
and he told benefit from it there can be various option it can mean give it to the women folk or convert it if it's a gold convert it to the women folk it's halal for the women or convert the silk garment for the women folk it can mean benefit me they can sell it but that doesn't mean sell it to a non-muslim man they can sell it to a non-muslim woman or can sell it to a non-muslim man who will see to it that he gives it to a non-muslim woman so benefit from it can have various meaning so we have to try and understand that the sahabas kept the ruling they knew the sharia well and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he says benefit don't take it the other way that they sold it to the muslim non-muslim men to wear they sold it to the non-muslim woman or non-muslim men who can give it to the wives so majority of the scholars they derive this hadith and say what the prophet meant benefit means that that silk you can give it to the women folk or you can sell it to a non-muslim man who will give it to the non-muslim woman but making something for the men and knowing men are going to use it it's not permitted similarly now the question is coming since gold and silk is the same hadith there's no hadith which i know of which the prophet said give the gold and benefit maybe i don't know of it so here when we take istidal we come to know that even in the gold you cannot make a gold jewelry specially made for the men to wear whether it be a gold ring or a gold bracelet or a gold chain it's haram whether it's worn by a muslim or non muslim so since he told that you are exclusively making gold jewelry for men and 100% of your customers are non muslim yet it is prohibited according to the sharia so the ruling of the majority of the scholars is that you cannot sell a gold jewelry to a man knowing very well that he is going to wear it if you sell gold jewelry to a man and know that you're going to give it to someone else he'll sell it and benefit no problem but if you know that a man is going to wear it, then it is prohibited for you to sell gold jewelry to a man who's going to wear it and you said you specially make jewelry which are worn by men so according to me you should stop this business or you can start a gold jewelry for the women it's no problem but gold jewelry for men it is prohibited hope that answers the question